Okay. Today, we are going to do something fun that's cracking me up. We're going to put the texture in texture paste. All right, so I have been with you making backgrounds, and that's a tissue paper. We don't want that. We want the uh, the regular papers. And so we've made a ton of fun backgrounds, and what I want to do now, so this is just a regular paper. That's not any good. I guess you could use it, but I'm trying to make backgrounds because I have a super cool idea for magazine collage. And what I do is once I have my um, backgrounds done, I put them on the, uh, in my mixed media journal. So I am definitely going to take this one out. Beep. It's a little stiff because it hasn't come in and out a lot. Let's do this. This one we're going to stick a different background on. Okay, so let's pick a background we like. Okay, let's use this background for that. I, I do have an issue with black and yellow, my favorite color combination. Okay, so we're going to do that. We have this one. I've been thinking about this one, so for sure we're going to do that one. We can only really do one side, so we have to mind our good stuff. Um... Oh, we might as well, while we're here, do this. I'm going to cover this one. So, do we want to just plan on covering this one with that one? I think I am. Um, this was from a convention. I don't love this. Uh, ooh, that's a cool background. Oh, I just have so many cool backgrounds. Okay, so we have those ones that are the right size. Now, what I want to do also that's super fun is do some of these with some texture so that I have them to use while I have my texture paste out. And then, so these guys, more texture, more texture. And that's what you want to do. When you have your stuff out, do all of your, do all of your things at once, right? So then you don't have to be all freaky about every time you want to do something having to yank everything out. So what we're gonna do here is I'm going to grab scissors. How can I never have scissors? I have like 50 pairs of scissors. Never mind, they fell on the floor. Okay, so let's pick which part we like. I kinda, I kinda like that part. I kinda like that part too. Okay, I'm gonna make this the primary part, meaning I have to take, this was a piece of scrapbook paper that we started with. All right, so let's do this. And then I'm just gonna cut up here. If you like your stuff straight, then don't just hack up your things like I do. But I don't care about straight, so it's not a big deal for me. So we're gonna do this one, but look what's gonna happen. You're gonna love this. We so this goes away. I throw away a lot of stuff because you could wind up with a lot of goobers around your um, craft room. Okay, I'm going to keep this part of this because what we're going to do, I have a little flip out page video coming. We are going to make a, I'm going to show you how to make a flip out page with this. So now I have this other one cut down. I was doing a little bit in there for my flip out page. Okay, so, whoo, that is exciting. So we're all ready to do our texture paste. I got a whole pile of stuff that I'm going to do. I don't need this one because it's going to be the back of that one. And I guess I need that one. This page is really conf confounding me because it's too busy for me. Okay, so... Now, this is where I promised to put the texture and texture paste. We are gonna use different kinds of texture paste. This is a matte texture paste, okay? Meaning that it is, um, it's, it's opaque. You can't see through it. 
And because this is distressed texture paste, it is um, made to be, uh, to receive inks and things like that. Okay, so that's one kind we're gonna use. This is maybe my favorite kind of texture paste. This is made by Ranger and it's a transparent gloss. You will not be able to see me put it on, but you'll see it later when we, when we get to the uh, part where I do inks and dyes for it. And then, oops, we're not gonna use this kind. Teaser. This is called Glamour Paste, which is a, um, it's a specialty thing. It's from Stamperia. And it is um, sparkly paste, right? Fancy pants, so we're gonna use a little bit of that some places. I think I'm gonna use it on here. And then I got a thing called acrylic mousse, and this is um, something I'm gonna try. It's, it's supposedly acrylic paint already tinted like this that is in um, like a, a, a dimensional form. Okay, so let's start with this. We're going to get all these open. I have extras for the ones that I don't have very much with. I have all kinds of textures. We're going to grab some of our handy dandy stencils and we're ready to go. Okay. So I find the easiest way to put on texture paste is to use a plastic one of these brushes and i'm anti-plastic i'm a big tree hugger but the pliability of these makes it really much easier to get in the different parts so this is already shiny glossy so i'm kind of excited to see how this comes out so for the first thing we're just gonna smudge some some texture paste on here and then we're gonna i'm gonna go from like kind of the easiest to the hardest so I think we all know about uh, bubble foil, right? So what that's gonna do is that is going to put a little texture into that and then I'm not gonna waste that product. I'm gonna put that on there. So let's put this off to the side. Let's see if we have another shiny one. What about this one? This is very shiny. And this one I'm going to put through a stencil so you can put your Texture paste through a stencil. This is um, this is a very fancy one, huh? Okay, where's our lid? Of course, I put it in a different lid. Now I'm gonna have texture paste all over me. All right, so we're gonna get some of that texture paste on there. And we're gonna do our scales. Now, something to remember when you're doing this kind of work is there's a real um, like uh, a human thing to want to keep them separate, right? To want to um, kind of put it over here, but go around that edge. That is the last thing you want to do because you, um, you want to use your texture paste and everything else. Do not get stressed out if that happens. It'll be fine. I promise you this texture will go in here fine. Um, you you want things to be covering different parts of your elements so that it integrates into your work. So texture paste, we're gonna have a talk. You can tell I do not clean my stencils after I spend a day texture pasting, for sure, I will be um, cleaning these stencils off because otherwise they get um, a buildup on them and then they, they don't really work as well as stencils in the manner that they're supposed to work. Okay, I really want some right here for this transition. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got that one. Sweet. All right, now, so we got that one tried. That was the Glamour Paste Sparkling White by Stamperia. Okay, so that is a, that's a true specialty kind of, of texture paste. Um, not one that I use a lot. So if we're going to get these out of the way first, let's do, okay, let's do something fancy on her. We're going to do this acrylic mousse and see what happens with it. Because I do not know, I have not used this before. So I'm going to go over this little splodgy place. So let's do this. Ooh, that's very smooth. And we're going to use, I think, stripes on her. 
We already have squares, so let's do a roller. This is a clay roller. Remember, we're gonna go back and roll it somewhere else if we can get any of that off there. See, we got a little bit of the texture over here. And then let's do a teeny bit more. Ooh, this is kind of, um, I feel like it's a little bit sandy. Okay, I want this to be, I want this to be very, very thin, right? And then I'm gonna keep this line going this way. Whoop. All right, there we go. All right, I like her. She's getting a little bit of something, something going on. Okay, a little more texture paste down there. Sweet. All right, this is a clay tool that you buy in a, at the dollar store. I have it in my dollar store uh, tools video. Um, that you got four of these for a dollar. I don't know how that is physically possible, but it does appear that that was the case. Okay, let's do let's do gray on here. I like gray for here. Um, and we're gonna do a little bit more of this, and let's get one of our other stencils. Oh, I love circles. Do we have? Okay, this. Look, we have squares on here already. Let's get some more checkerboard squares. Okay, let's push this down, get that on there. Don't waste your supplies. See, it made a little texture there. Um, we're gonna squeeze this out. I'm really digging this, uh, being able to squish it out. And everybody always asks about why I shake. I shake because I work on the computer all day and I have semi-carpal tunnel syndrome and my um, wrists aren't great. So that's good for this one. I'm eventually gonna run out of space for all this stuff. Okay, so we have that, close that up. That is acrylic mousse, mixed media, marabou, made in Germany. It's fancy. Okay, those two we're gonna put off to the side somewhere. Okay, now we're gonna get into the real texture paste that I use all the time. Um, so let's start with this, and this is really in bad shape. It's been open too long, um, and it is uh, kind of chalky and dry. So on this one, I want to use something that has a real um, stiff background. So if your texture paste dies, don't throw it away. Just use it on something where it doesn't really matter, right? And it's not, it's not, I think that's distress. It's not distress's fault, it's mine. I probably left it open or I've had it too long or I'm not responsible enough to put the little paper, wet, damp paper towel on it. Let's smoosh that down to keep it safe. So that's a good one. I'm just trying to get some texture on here. We're gonna come back later and you're gonna see how cool this is. And for this texture, I have to use like um, beastie tools uh, that I can can force because it is um, it's not in the best shape. Okay, here's another texture thing. It's a Carabelle background Avec de Points. So I already used Avec de Points on here when I was doing a gel plate. So if I do Avec de Points in um that's with dots i think in french my my high school french is failing me i think i took it in college too oh my gosh um but i'm using this uh i'm going to use as much of this up as i can because i have a new bottle i have a new jar but i don't want to waste it okay there we go Evecta points i'm going to do one more but I don't wanna cover up that number. I have a thing for numbers. Oh, here's a good idea. Let's do this. We're gonna come right off the edge. Let's do it right off the edge. Because you don't want everything right in the middle of your uh, mixed media or it looks weird. Okay, there we go, we got this. I already scrubbed on this one, so let's do this one. Um, now, so you don't have to spend a ton of money. This is a piece of shelf liner, right? So 
I have fancy, fancy, like this avec de, this thing is real, right? They make this to make textures. This is a Lego block from the dollar store. This was wrapped up around a, um, around a uh, product I purchased. So if you have a lot of money and you have a craft issue, you can spend money on cool things. If you don't have a lot of money, here's another one that I love from this Carabelle circly thing. So I'm gonna use that. I like it. I am fortunate enough that my job is to play around with, see, it's not in good, sh the, the texture paste isn't in good shape. All right, that's fine. All right, so we got those Carabelle Rons. I feel like I want, nah, that's fine. All right. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to throw this away. Look, there's a bunch of it still left in there. But honestly, I have been fighting this texture paste for, I don't know, like a month. Um, if you, if you um, don't have a ton of money for art supplies, then figure out how to revitalize this. You may be able to use um, water. You may be able to use, you know, some things. I don't think this is right, but you can use alcohol to revitalize some things. Figure out how to revitalize it. But for me, I'm lucky I don't have to do that. Now, for the rest of these, we're going to use my favorite, because this is actually my craft project, um, which is this transparent, translucent, um, transparent gloss texture paste. And the reason why I like it is I don't want to be fighting with my texture paste, um, like the colors in my texture paste. This shows up as white, but it is going to be drying clear. Um, and then all it's doing is it's going to give us texture underneath. This is a beard comb from the dollar store. I like my textures to go up and down or side to side. I don't like them to go diagonally. You may find you like diagonal textures, and in that case, you do those. All right, here we go. This is gonna be fun. This is kind of a flower thing. Do we have a, oh, here we go. So these were super cheap. I got like a million of these from Amazon. They are cake decorating. You know how they put that fondant stuff on cakes? Um, they are cake decorating tools, and they work just like the, the specialty stamper things. And they put a, like a design in them. Now, you have to smush them pretty good, but you'll see there's like a little fleur-de-lis in there. Okay. Yeah, that's very subtle. Okay, the thing I like best with these, though, and this is my real one, so God bless you, I'm doing this one the right way, is my, um, is doing stencils, right? And I have a whole bunch of different stencils, but I'm not too worried about this right now because what I'm doing with this is going to be clear so you won't see it, right? Um, you have the ability to, to, um, use any kind of inks or dyes on it, and it kind of works like a resist, meaning that if I use certain things on it, like if I use acrylic paint, acrylic paint is opaque and it'll cover it up, right? But if I were to use, um, say, some India ink, which I probably will, or something like that on it, it will, um, this will resist it, and I can see underneath the pattern and the texture below. So there's that one. All right, we're getting near the bottom, you guys. Let's, uh, do I, I don't think I missed any of the cool kind of gizmos that I have. I have a big, big wide tooth comb, um, but I am going to do uh, uh, stencils for the rest of these. Okay, this one, this one is a problem, people. I literally do not know what to do with this background. It is too darn colorful. Oh, I got way too much texture paste. I think another reason I like this texture paste is it's, um, 
it's kind of lightweight and easy to spread. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, it's my favorite texture paste. If I could only have one kind of texture paste, now this one I want to watch because I want to keep her kind of whole and do texture around her. Okay, so we're going to use this one. Um, if I could only have one kind of texture paste, it would be Ranger Transparent Texture Paste. And I love it. Okay. I even keep it closed all the time so it doesn't, um, it doesn't wear out. Now, one thing that you might want to know that I don't always think of and I'm like, brilliant. Um, you don't have to do it all over. Like, I don't want to have a whole background through the stencil. I just want little nibbles here and there. So we now have to go wash our stuff. We're going to wash everything that touched the texture paste, right? Because it, um, it will glue itself together. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to wash this. And we'll be back when the texture paste is dry. Okie dokie. I have been cleaning the house with my daughter. We are done, and hopefully, fingers crossed, our texture paste is done too. So, I have a gel plate box that I keep all that stuff in. Okay, so now let's take a look to see what's going on here. Some of it may not be totally dry, but that is okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this is the back of something. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the um, this is the translucent one. So I'm going to start separating things out. This is the um, the gray one, the acrylic mousse one. So that's fun. We're going to try some with that. This is the um, the fancy gel one. What is this? Is this? That looks like regular texture paste. This is the fancy gel one because I want to check and see. Oh, this turned out amazing. This is regular. Regular. Okay. This is fancy gel. That goes with this. This is gray. Boop. This was fancy gel, wasn't it? I thought we went with the fancy gel. It's hard to see. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so that's fancy gel. This is regular. This is translucent. Translucent, translucent, translucent. Oh, do. So now, I tend to like to use India ink, okay? You can use whatever you want. If you have, um, if you like to use uh, uh, Distress Ink, if you like to use any kind of ink, you can use that. But what I like about India Ink is that it is um, water soluble when it's wet and permanent when it dries. So what I want to do on here is I just want to test and see what happens with this texture paste. So whatever kind of texture paste you have, you want to test it and see what happens. So this was the, um, the one that had kind of stripes in it. So we're going to see if we can get it kind of running up and down the stripes. And I'll show you all these at the end when they've dried. Okay, I like how that went. That made it a little grungy. Let's see what happens down here. Now, some of them I'll get really running, but I, I've never used this texture paste, so I don't know how wet I can get it. Okay, there we go. Let's get this kind of around the edges. You can really see the texture paste here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. Okay, you know what I want? I want this along here too. So not only should you be mining your good texture paste, take a look at your project and see what's going on if there's anything you need to do. Okay, 
All right, love that. Okay, so that's good. This is the gray too. So let's do, this one I don't need to be in any certain place, so we're gonna water the crap out of this and see what happens. Okay. Let's kind of roll it around in there. Can we get it over to this stuff? See, we have some texture paste over there. All right, you can see it in there. Do we want a little that has some pow? Okay, so let's see what that happens. That's good. All right, so that was all that one. Let's do this other weird one. This is the uh, Glamour Paste. Very fancy. Let's see what it does with some India ink. And I don't think it it uh, textured very much. It may have been more of a stencil kind of thing. Yeah, I don't see much going on with that. So doing just stencily bits with it may not have been it's or doing just oh there it is okay hold on hold on let's not let's not give in too early because see there's the um uh, we did the uh the um oh shoot bubble wrap on there And I feel like that was giving us a little bit of uh, texture in there. All right, let's do that. Let's put it aside, see what happens. Okay, that one's gotta be flat, flat, flat. Okay, here we go. Here's this texture bit. I'm gonna go with this. Okay, we have purple. So let's see what happens. This is fish scales. And a little circle underneath. Okay. Now I think that glamoury bit right there is making a resist since there's more. Let's let's dab a little bit of that off here. We're gonna try that. Okay, we got some more of these fishy scales up here. Okay, I don't wanna get any more colors in here. To me, this is already super colorful and a little creepy. Um, you may want to put different colors on your texture paste. I'm just looking to try to get a little bit of more interest. Okay, I wanna get this down here in this white corner. Here. All right, and since I Mod Podge that, it will come right off. Let's see what happens here with this. Like I said, I'll show you at the end. Don't worry, never fear. Okay, so that was that stuff. Here we go. Now with stuff that I know about. This is a distress texture paste that is not translucent. So this should, this should really. Um, pull in uh see how it sucked in right away this is gonna suck up this uh ink in a way the other stuff did not okay the other stuff was kind of riding on top and this is going to go right inside of it okay let's get some of this moving around here All right, 
let's get this off of the top of this in case we have a catastrophe. Let's get us a little bit moving around a little bit. And then I feel like we've got There we go. All right, I like that. I want to do just one concentrated bit here and one con oh, two concentrated bits here and see what happens there. Okay, that's good. Now we have yellow and green. So I want this to be more neutral. Oh, we have orange. Let's do some orange. And this ought to go in these little uh, texture paste divots super well. See how it goes into there? And that's that distressed texture paste that will um, absorb that color as opposed to we have one more to do of this and then I'll show you the other one. So this texture paste, what I found by doing this, because you just want to test everything, was too thick for that little tiny carabelle squeezy thing, right? We figured that out. You, you can tell by looking at this, it, it just kind of smooshed it rather than making it exciting, but that's okay. I'm running out of fingers. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to just leave that on there. Is there some down here? No, I guess not. Can we get it to run down there? There we go. I like to move color around this way so that it's more natural. Um, I just like the look of that. You don't have to do that. On it. That's the end of that. Okay, now we have the fun kind that I use the most. So this is the one that I am the most, um, well, I use the Distress a lot, but I use this the absolute most. So we're going to put this on here. Got to find our yellow finger. We're going to put this over this texture, and you could squirt it with water if you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tap it off a little bit first and see how you can see the pattern underneath it the colors of that, um, that's what I like. I like I like the fact that I made all of those colors and patterns and you can still see them underneath the texture paste because it's translucent. Okay, and there's a little bit over here too. I just feel like, oh, this is just a plain gel plate background. I was like, where's the lady? But this isn't the lady one. Okay. All right, we're going to get this to slide in amongst those. This is cool. Okay, on this one, I'm going to do the same thing, kind of dab off the top so you can see down through there. Okay, love that. Got another yellow one coming. This one's cool. This is the one where we have the, uh, the, uh, chevrons over here so i feel like i want to i'm gonna get this is van dyke brown i don't feel like i want to introduce a color i want this to be very kind of monochrome all right see how you can see that but just gently So it's going to sink into the uh, 
into the paper underneath it, but it won't, it'll be like a, almost a resist on the, Uh, kind of texture paste. Sorry, I'm actually working on this. I, I really like this one. So I'm, I'm interested in it going well. And I'm going kind of right up to the edge of her coat. Okay, that's good, love that. Running out of dry places. Okay, this one should be fun. So this one was, oh, the, uh, the um, you know what this one was. This was the uh, Fleur de Lis kind of cake making flatty thing. So this did not do a ton with this, that one, that cake making thing would have done much better with, see, you can see it in there a little bit. That cake making one would have done much better with uh, uh, the Ranger texture paste because it had more body to it. But I'm not mad at it. Let's see if we can get some of it to rub off. You can see the resist right here. You can see the resist right here. Ooh, can we get more of this off? <gasps> okay, I'm kind of loving this now. It didn't, I don't know that it made a great um, pattern, but it made a really cool resist. All right. I bet you I can get some more off the top here too. Ooh, I love that. It's kind of got a uh, an organic look. Okay, and I think we have, oh, we have two more. Gosh, this one's gonna be good. So this one has stripes running up and down. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do half here, half here, half here, half here. It's gonna be fun. And we're gonna have them run down. I need to try to get my stripes to, get my ink to jump my stripes, right? So that turned out pretty, pretty much the way I thought it would. It doesn't always. Okay, I feel like there's a big gloopy of ink down here that I don't need. And I'm just gonna let that stuff sit in those stripes. And last but not least, this thing. This thing is killing me. All right, so what should we do with this? Um, we can make it more pink, right? Because it's got a lot of pink on it already. Do we want to make it orange and pink? There's a lot of... It's... Um... <laughs> do we do it? Do we go for it? Make it all the colors? I don't know. I just don't know what to do with this thing. We're gonna play with this because there's nothing wrong with playing with it. I'm I'm freaked out by it anyways. We texture pasted it. Let's do a little bit of everything and see what happens, right? Purple's down here. Blues over here. Now I'm just messing with myself by adding more color when I wasn't sure about the color we already had. Okay, let's try it. All right, let's see. Is this the circles? This is the circles. Okay, so orange finger. That's kind of orange finger. Yeah, see if we can find the circles. There are some circles right there. 
There's some circles down here. So we need to get some color down in here. I feel like the darker colors are succeeding to pull out the circles and the lighter colors are not. So we're making green up here. Okay, so there's some circles, here's some circles. Other people worry about um, making mud. I kind of like mud, so I don't worry about that. But if you don't want to make mud, don't mix colors from across the color wheel. So don't mix blue and orange or purple and yellow. Or So we've got, are we feeling like it's a little bit more settled down? Am I just fooling myself? All right, so this is the last one. We're gonna let this dry and I will come back and take a video of all of them when they're dry. Doki, we are at the end of putting texture, the texture in texture paste. I don't know, there must have been a little puddle of India ink there. But you can see there's some really subtle texture with some extra um, yellow there. This is the back of the circus page. Um, here we go. This one turned out really cool because this actually worked as a resist. You can't really see the texture in it so well. This one worked great. Look how nicely that, um, that's that gray stuff. So I think it did take a hint of the purple. It took a lot more of the purple down here. Um, this is the gray. I feel like it didn't absorb bright yellow, that it turned gray, turned back to gray. Um, which is fine, it goes with this page, but it's something to note. This, I think, turned out amazing. This is that fancy glamour paste um, that we're gonna use to make a flip out page. I thought this turned out great too. Look how it, um, this was the uh, beard comb that had the stripes. This is the um, Carabella. And this, um, this was what I was telling you about the Distress ink. It will absorb it. See how right where the texture base is? That uh, Distress ink totally absorbed that other ink. Um, so that was white. Now it's orange. But it will, it's very, very absorbent. Okay, this is the Fancy Texture Paste um, with the uh, uh, Bubble Wrap. I don't think that worked very well at all. I mean, it doesn't hurt it at all, but I don't think it added to it. This is that Carabella um, that was, the texture paste was just too deep. So I wouldn't use the texture paste again with the Carabella. It's just, um, it's really a shallow um, texture and it didn't work well. Uh, okay, here's the other half of this, right? So this is, I, I just, I love how that turned out. Great. Um, this one's subtle. You can't, I don't know how much of it you can see. In person, you can see it really well. It's super shiny. You can see the, it like kind of highlighted the underneath of it. And then that dark color is just um, under it because we, we did the relief where we wiped off the, um, texture so I don't know if you can see it well but I can see it well and last but not least is this thing I don't think it made it any worse <laughs> you can see the circles in the texture paste so I just don't know what to do with this wait till wait till we make the most amazing page with it but so that is putting the texture in texture paste hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson artsy fartsy life